Hello again, Pieter here with another big box. I, I think I know what's in it. A pair of shoes and a pair of pants, I think. I think. Small incision, here we go. <gasps> nope, it's something else. This is my dual monitor stand. I thought this was from REI. I was mistaken. But good news, that means that I can be more organized in my office. All right, let's uh, switch the camera view. So this is Epi's Wear Natural Bamboo Monitor Stand. Is there tape somewhere? Nope, nope. And this is gonna help me keep all my gadgets organized. I just hope I like the color. Yeah, I do like the color. Okay, it's very shrink wrapped. A small incision. I mean, it does come in black, but I like the color of wood. And I figured, well, I could always stain it if I didn't like it. After all, I did refinish this table we're filming on. Okay, there's a few blemishes that I'm seeing, but not too bad. The drawers are pretty shallow, but not terribly. And then, oh, I see. So you can, you can adjust, oh, this is nice. I did not know that. So I can kind of tilt this like so and then adjust my monitors. Oh, that's, I think that's gonna work very, very nicely. So we all know how big a pocket knife is. Let's grab a pen and a pair of scissors. There you go. Does that give you a... Hmm. Let's put it downstairs and see how it's gonna look in the office. I don't know what this is, and the, what what is this with all the the Legos and the different? Yeah, what? No, no. This is a box for a monitor. It is not a laptop stand. And this, well, that that's awesome. That photo, that's awesome. Uh, you know, the the fifteen year that that's cool. But the Lego thing, I think it's served its time. It's time for a makeover. It's time to put this underneath there. Let's do it. Now for even more fun, I'm gonna time myself. Hey Siri, open stopwatch. All right, let the games begin. All right, first things first. Whoa, carefully move the Legos. Can you, you know, if I only had a small camera that I could mount on my chair. Here we go. Got my favorite Patagonia hat here. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> um, that's that's from Scarface. Anyway, I don't I don't do the voice right. Say hello to my little friend. Anyway, uh, this is my Oakley hard case for my eyeglasses, and it just so happens that the Insta 360 Go 3. <laughs> I, I said it right that time, not the Insta Go. Insta Go 360, <laughs> Insta 360 Go 3. They should just call it the Insta 360 Portable 3. Anyway, this fits really nicely in this case, almost. Anyway, and it protects it. And then I put one of those tiles. Remember tile? They've been there before Apple AirTag. And then I just turn this on like so. And as this fun little viewfinder, 
So I can line up the shot, or even better yet, I can choose, ooh, outdoors. So I'm actually indoors. And then this goes in one way. And then it knows that it's in the little case. Then I can make sure that it's lined up. Awesome. Now we're off the iPhone 15 and on this. All right, so we need to move that over there. This does not even belong in my studio. So we'll put that right there for now. Move the keyboard. Speaking of tile, this is an old tile that I was going to do a video on. Huh, that's more machine oil. The machine oil, well actually this is for my hair trimmer, but that bigger bottle is for the Mobvoi Home Incline Treadmill, <clears throat> which I need to adjust the belts on. We are cruising now. Move the batteries. This is the old Insta360, which <clears throat> I'm sending back to get repaired. Okay, stay puffed. Don't worry, you're staying on my desk. But whenever I put on new stuff, I like to clean the surface. Emma Bates, sorry. Isn't she gorgeous? Yes, she is. Move the car. And then all we have to do is gently just pick that up. And then my kids will be very happy to have more Legos to play with. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. Those don't go there. This is my uh, SIM card ejector collection of all the different phones that I've had over the last two years. <laughs> bye bye box. You've been a really good friend. I may or may not keep this Lego thing. I mean, it's really fun to have the Legos with me throughout the whole day, but we're gonna try it without. I still have yet to review that. It's actually right there. We need some cleaning supplies. This spray that I'm using is Mr. Clean Solution, and it's not gonna damage the wood veneer. My wife bought me this writing desk back in the COVID years. You know, COVID hit, so now it's January, so now go back to January of 2020, and you know, we're all working still in the office, and then one day they tell us, hey, uh, we're gonna have you go home and work. I'm like, all right. So I went home to work. Then they're all like, uh, we're gonna keep you working from home. <laughs> Three years later, I'm still working from home. Actually, now it's 2024, so 2020, 21, 22, 23. It's been over four years since I became a remote employee. And my company asked me, you know, do you want to stay remote or do you want to come in the office? And I said, I, I want to stay remote. I like hanging out with my kids. I like being home when my kids get home from school. And thus it remains. And I just realized it is no longer January. It's February. I know this is last year, but I'm getting a new one for my birthday. So until then, I'll just use that. Good thing I got this new desk thing because, man, was my office dusty. Yuck. Was I, was I breathing all that? 300% honest here, I hate dusting. I'd rather vacuum or do dishes. I'd rather clean a bathroom than dust. Dusting is a necessary evil. That looks better. We bring this over. This is gonna be great because my monitors have not been high enough for quite some time. Actually, I like the contrast of the two colors of wood. And then these work on a pivotal system. These are each 24 inch monitors. And I think, oh yeah. So I wanted two things. One, I wanted a cleaner desk. Two, I needed my monitors higher so when I'm looking at my monitors, I'm not, to, you, don't, you don't want, you want your head to be level. You want your eye level with the monitors. And I've been looking slightly down for the last two and a half, three years. This is much, much better. Yeah, I like being able to see the natural tone 
of the wood. We'll just crank that up so they're at the same height. Oh my gosh. Davide, thank you. Yes, I did just grab that out of the garbage. That looks so much better. So when I'm done working, I can slide that in, put that right there. Oh, that looks so good. And then what I really want to do is not have these pens in here. Whoops. Huh, that was weird. I don't know why that's binding. Could be the... I was thinking the weight of the monitor, but... I might have to sand those down a little bit. Yeah, if my monitors are not exactly the same height, it bothers me. That looks really good. Let's see if we can go... Yeah, that's as far back as they go. Ah, oh, that's so much better. So much better. And then I'll put my wife, I'll do the black and white, and stay puffed. We're gonna, we're gonna put you right there for now. I think that's good. My Lego set. You know, I might do this for now. This is from the year 2000, 24 years ago. I was in the top, uh, 10 in my age group for the five miler, I believe. So pretty happy about that. I was running a lot more frequently back in the day. There we go. What'd you think of the action camera? And the new setup. So that all that previous stuff was the action camera. And then when you're done, you just take it out, put it back in its little charging holder case, and then it'll automatically turn off. And then there's a USB-C port. I'll connect that to my laptop, and that's how you view the footage, and I just import it directly into iMovie. So here's my new office setup. This is literally day one, even though I unboxed it <laughs> two days ago. It took me uh, that much longer to uh, clean off my desk, but I like the drawers. This one on the right, I don't know why, it's sticking. Probably just, just a wee bit of sanding paper and I I didn't announce it earlier my easiest unboxing ever this is the Star Wars Star Wars droidables by Disney this is gonna be the easiest unboxing we've ever done because there's not much to unbox except for how to get them out of the box and that's why we go to our friend's Kershaw. I wanted a new decoration to go with my new desk. Small incision right there in the side. They probably have this thing. Oh yeah, there's ties. And then there's another small incision right there. And then they have these I'm not, I'm not going to mess with that. <laughs> Hang on, R2. This is so people don't steal these things from the store. Hang on, buddy. I'll free you. I think this is my first bobblehead that I've ever purchased. I don't plan on collecting them. I just, I've always loved, I've been fascinated by R2-D2. The drawers work, they pivot, you know, you can move your monitors around, but I think that's gonna be great. And I would even have to disconnect. Malakwa, knife safety, always. Um, uh, you know, I don't, maybe I'll bring Marge back. And no, I'm not keeping it. I'll recycle it. I am going to 
keep my 15 year put that right there that looks good 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 this is my tv hammock thank you moby tv for never being a sponsor but i was at a sprint store 19 20 years ago and this was on the shelf and i asked the clerk hey uh can i buy one of these and the clerk thought just for a few seconds and said oh you know what that promotion with moby tv is over you can just have it and i went home with this cool little hammock chair for smartphones and the smartphones were really small back in the year 2005 2004 so the fact that it still works great for my one plus 12 here it's awesome so when i'm listening to music or i want to take a little quick break so now when i walk into my office this is what i see oh yeah i want to work here that looks awesome very happy well, thank you, Amazon, for taking more of my money. And thank you, Epi-so-ware? Epi, Epi so Epi-so-ware? Yeah, that's my review of the dual monitor stand and multi-functional desktop organizer. Woohoo! yeah. And I apologize if there was some scratchiness. I am still working on the mic placement of the hidden mic. I, I folded up the football and then the tape. I'm ordering some gaff tape uh, today. All right. Thank you so much for clicking on by. I know there's a few other tech reviewers and office decorators out there. And I'm just super glad that you found my channel or Facebook page or wherever you're watching this. Maybe there's a link on Instagram on X, Twitter. I will have another review sometime in the next eight, eight hours. I do have a plethora of content right now. If I can find time to edit, you might see a couple daily videos for the next week or so. I'd really need to finish editing the Magic 8 Ball and I have an orange cable that I need to finish, but, uh, oh, and I have the Ultra Human Ring Air. I never did a follow-up on this one, but you just saw that, so there we go. Do I recommend the Insta360 Go 3? If you don't already have the Go 2 from last year or the year before, I just, just keep this one. Insta360 is probably going to come out with the Go 4 later this year. Who knows? Maybe not. But for as far as my desk, loving the way it looks. I'm glad I got brown because I have that nice neutral feng shui, whatever it's called. And now I have R2-D2 to keep me company when I'm working from home. I'll see you again soon. And yes, let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. Goodbye.